Hello, ZBrush users. I'm going to show you an extremely fast and easy way to make your own uh, t um, brushes. And this is specifically for wrinkle and folds. Uh, super fast. I've watched lots of tutorials and I feel like they're, it's a little more, they make it a little bit more complicated than it really needs to be. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, just an easy and fast method on how to make your custom brush and you can add how to make the icon for the brush so you can save it out, but you can do whatever you want with it. Um, so first things first is we're going to open up uh, a ZBrush and we're going to go up to document. And we're going to make sure that our document is 1024 by 1024. So go ahead and do that first and then hit resize. So once it's uh, in that dimensions, you're going to go ahead and open up a plane uh, to do that uh, simple brush, tools, and you can find a plane, whoops, you can find your plane, 3D, go ahead and draw it out on your screen, go into edit mode first, uh, make poly mesh 3D, now you can hit frame, and I like to zoom in a bit so that it fills up the screen, because when you take your screen you're just going to need it to fill up the screen here uh, for the next step, one of the next steps. Um, the next thing I do is I'm going to go ahead and what I use is I kind of use a combination sometimes of the standard brush and this wrinkle brush that I found for free online, which I will put a link in the description uh, to the video, the YouTube video that you can find that brush in. So I'm going to go ahead and select that brush. Uh, my draw size, I usually start off with about 30. Focal shift, I leave it zero. Uh, I usually do dots for the stroke here. Um, so then what you can do is just start drawing out your wrinkles. I like to use a tablet with a, a pen tablet. I use the Veek. I think I don't know if I pronounce it right. V-E-I-K-K. -K. Um, so I'm going to start just kind of drawing some wrinkles here. For This is going to be a quick, um, just because it's a quick tutorial. So I'm going to start going to subdivide it, of course. I usually subdivide it to about a little over one mil. Now you can start kind of drawing out your wrinkles here. So we're just going to do a quick, just like so. And then if you hold Alt, it can like inverse. It's a little slow. My tablet's a little slow. Actually, you know what? I'm not using my tablet because it's, it's just a little bit too slow. I can use the mouse instead. I'm going to maybe change the size up a little bit. I'm going to go down to 20. Maybe add some smaller ones in here. And let's see. I just started making wrinkles, so obviously I'm not a pro or anything. So <laughs> this is just an example. Uh, let's see, what else do I want? I think that's probably good for now. I'm going to go ahead and uh, smooth it out. The best thing to do is kind of look at articles of clothing and then you can copy some of the wrinkles that you see. That's probably the best way to get like real realistic wrinkles. The f it's funny because the first one I made actually turned out really good and now I'm having a hard time getting them to actually look good. It's really strange. Okay, so that's my wrinkle that I want to be able to put on any article of clothing. So I have it uh, all finished, so now the next step, once you are satisfied, make sure it fills your screen just like this, and you're going to go over to your brush, and you're going to choose standard. Now you're going to go up to brush, clone, now you're gonna, so you're going to clone it. Now you're going to go to your alpha, and you're going to grab dock, and then you're going to go ahead and choose um, drag rec, and you're going to right click on the actual brush, and you're going to go to save as. And you're going to go ahead and just save it. So I'm just going to call it wrinkle006. So once you have it saved as wrinkle006, you're going to go hit uh, go into uh, non-edit mode and you're going to hit uh, control N to clear your screen. You're going to open up um, a big old round sphere here. Sphere. I can never say that word. And then you're going to go into edit, uh, make poly mesh 3D frame. I zoom out just a little bit. Go ahead and subdivide it. And you're going to go ahead and open up the brush you just saved. Okay, so you're going to drag out. Okay, so load brush. 
wrinkle 006. And now you're going to take your brush that you just made and just draw it out on this little sphere here. And now you're going to go up to brush, select, select icon, and you're going to hit alt, select icon. And now it just saved it here. You got your brush, now you can resave this. So then save as, I'm just going to go ahead and save it right over the wrinkle 006. Hit yes, you want to replace it, and now you have your brush. Wrinkle 006, and now you can uh, put this on anything that you want. So just for fun, I'm going to uh, import something that I had made. And then I'm going to open, I have my wrinkle brush open, so let's say I want to make a wrinkle... Like right here. Obviously, this brush sucks because I just put it together really quickly. But this is just a, this is just a tutorial. It's not a tutorial on how to make a really good wrinkle brush, or like a really good wrinkle. Um, so you can you know do whatever you want. You can change the intensity, of course, and you can add some more wrinkles maybe in the back. Well, that's a little bit too much. Add wrinkles wherever you wherever you need on your article of clothing that you want to add wrinkles to. But that's that's pretty much it. That's super simple. You made your whole brush with the icon and everything, and it didn't take long at all. So that's just a quick tutorial. Um, thank you for watching, and have a great day.